Missile has received. Nova! Hey, Nova! Welcome, welcome! Do I sound good? Because I, I have some music playing in the background, but I'm like, is it a. Uh... Can you hear me, Nova? I hope so there, girl. Making sure. Just making sure. Back in action. Hey, Razor. What's up? I'm getting ready. I'm almost ready. I got four minutes. Hey, Moses. What's up? I'm almost ready, y'all. Matter of fact, who cares? I'm here. Hey, y'all. I just cut it on early, like hell with it. Whatever. Why make y'all wait? Hey, Razor. Hey, Moses. What's up? Everybody's probably going to be like, where the hell are you at? <laughs> What's up, y'all? Hi, Moses. How you been? How you been at? Razor, I hope you're up for some Apex later, because I am. <laughs> Time to eat. Exactly. Time to eat. Nova. Right like daytime? <laughs> You've been chilling, that's what's up. Appreciate that, right? You can all appreciate a chill moment, a chill something, you know? Any time that we can just like hang out and and be good, we good, right? Nova, uh, can you hear music, Nova? You, Nova is so newsy. <laughs> they are new pots. They are new pots. So we got new pots. We got another camera, right? Let me make sure this new pots, new camera. Um, I got a new knife. My dad gave it to me. It's a, a Japanese cleaver. It's beautiful. It's so sharp. I'm like, I don't even want to use it. Yes. And my dad actually gave me his chef knife that he used for years. So I'm excited about that. It's a pretty nice knife. Pretty nice. Not the stream. Hearing the music. Oh, you're hearing the music? Hmm. Wait, what you mean? Hmm. <laughs> is, it, is it loud? <laughs> Let's just go ahead and turn. Moses, it's good to see you. So, I'm back in Philly, guys. So, different kitchen, different setup, extra camera, like new pots and pans, and I have a dog. So, if you hear the dog barking, it's the dog. So, you probably can hear him like chewing on the bone right now. Hi, Mojang. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, guys? Hey, Natalie. Yes, Natalie, you know, the, the goofy dog, right? <laughs> What's up, Nat? I wonder why I didn't, um... Okay, all of the, uh... Okay. So all of the... Everything's coming in, everybody's... So what's happening is, um, I'm live on three platforms now. So not only are we on Twitch, we're on Facebook and YouTube. So... You guys will probably see different people chatting um, or what have you. Or I might be answering people that you don't see. So they might be either on Facebook or YouTube. Fancy schmancy. Yes. Hey, Beast. 
Welcome, welcome. What are we eating? We're actually going to be eating some steak and shrimp and some collard greens my way, right? Some cheesy collard greens. Yeah. So, what's the YouTube? Let's go. Let's put that YouTube in there. So, these are the socials, guys. So, if you want to follow on YouTube, of course, you're here on Twitch and on Facebook. Um, Facebook Gaming is where we're live from. So I don't have, I do have a, uh, I do have a link, but I'm trying to change the link. So I don't want to give it to you guys now. So if you guys are on Facebook Gaming, um, you can follow me at Rocksteady instead of Chef Rocksteady. I'm trying to fix that. So, so we're going to hold off on adding that to the actual commands. So yes, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, any platform you guys want to watch on eventually will be live on Instagram. Well, right? We're trying, to, we're trying to be everywhere, right? He's like, I'm everywhere. Oh, shit, I'm everywhere. Right. Yes. So it's good to see you guys. How, how was your week end so far? Your weekend was great. Was the weekend great? Mine was. My weekend was great. I, I, I did absolutely nothing yesterday. I did absolutely nothing, beast. <laughs> so I did wind up, I'm, I have a new camera now. So you're looking at me on a new camera. It's actually a 4K camera, which we got to tweak it a little bit, with the focus, but we'll, we'll get there. Yeah. Elbow cough, right. <laughs> yes, good vibe. So yeah, I got my new knife, my new cleaver. It's beautiful. My father gave it to me. So yeah, I'm excited about that. So yes, Nova, I got a new pot set. It's it's really nice. It's actually a a nice pretty set too. Like it's like so many pieces to this set. You see like so many in the background. I like just spread them everywhere. It has like steamer and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So we'll be doing some steam stuff. I have to buy a fryer again. So I know you guys like the fried foods, but I'm going to get another fryer. And we'll, we'll, we'll go back to frying, right? We'll go back to frying. I don't know if I'm going to cut the oven on this. Nah. Our steaks aren't that thick. What fryer am I looking at? I'm looking for another deep fryer. Remember, I had a small one when I was in Florida. I moved back to Philly, guys. So, different setup, different changes. Um, it, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's nice. But yeah, I'm looking for a small fryer, just the same, I found the same fryer, I would love it. Why not, right? Maybe an air fryer, who cares? But air fryers take a little longer. Team new stuff, yes, Natalie. So, we're gonna be setting up, Natalie has gifted a lovely, lovely picture box for the stream. So we can take pictures of food inside of it, so I'm gonna be setting that up for next week. Um, I didn't set it up because I knew I was moving, so why bring out so much stuff? Um, so yeah, we got that. So we'll be taking some video and photos of food that way too. We're going to be getting more into um, fine dining, um, teachings, and new foods. So now that I'm back in Philly, they actually have farmer's markets here. They have a lot of different ingredients. Oh my God, we're going to have so much fun. <laughs> I know where all the food is in Philly, so I know where to get anything I want. So opposed to Florida, where we're kind of limited, where we couldn't really find anything. It's different here. We're, we'll find everything here. So we'll get into some new, new, new stuff, new, new stuff. Um, I also have met up with some friends back in Philly. Well, here. <laughs> met up with my friends, and I have stumbled upon one of my friends that wants to challenge me to a cook-off. I don't know why. I don't know why he wouldn't do that to himself, but yeah. So I'll be, look out for that in the Instagram and the Discord. Um, look out for that to be coming soon. So he'll come here and he will challenge me if he thinks he can win. Team Rock over here. So yeah. So you guys will meet my, uh, my good friend, Chef Jamal. And we're going to do the damn thing. And I'm going to get all of my chef friends. How about that? At least once a week, we'll have a guest. So we're going to be picking up a day um, in the week. 
we gotta figure out which day we're gonna pick up. Um, thinking maybe Thursdays because it's a little far from Sundays, and maybe moving Sundays to Mondays because everybody's like, oh, it's Sunday, but a lot of people still work on Sunday. So we might be making some schedule changes, which is gonna be good because we're gonna be adding in cooking shows and maybe we'll get some different people, we'll get some new faces, some new uh, community members to come out and hang with us, right? Good old fashioned showdown, exactly. <laughs> hey, there's one of my cousins there. I'm telling y'all, I got so many cousins and family in Philly. Hi, true Philly girl. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Hey, sister, there's my sister. Hey, sister. Everybody's like coming in. But what's up, everybody? Um, Tell me how y'all weekend was. Welcome, welcome. What I'm cooking, I'm gonna be cooking some bone-in ribeye steak, shrimp, and I'm making some cheesy collard greens, my favorite, right? So we're gonna be hooking that up today. Yes, with some shrimp. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Shrimp too, surf and turf. All up in the kitchen with new pots and pans, Nova. <laughs> so welcome everybody that's new to the channel. I appreciate you guys coming out. If this is your first cooking show, welcome, welcome. Everybody else, good to see you back. Good to see your faces again. Love you guys much. But we're gonna get started in a minute. I usually try to wait to see people coming in. Everybody looks like they're, they're here for the most part. So with that being said, we're gonna start this show. <laughs> Caribbean boy, hey! What's up? Is this this is Caribbean boy's first show too? Uh huh. I see that shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Fallout. What's up? Hey, everybody. Look at that, Nova. Nova's on YouTube. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I can see that. I can see it, Nova. I can see it. <laughs> up oh, there's the missus. The missus is in. Hey, missus. What's up? Good evening, everybody. Appreciate y'all for coming in. So if anybody um, doesn't know, I know we have a lot of new people today. Um, if you have Amazon Prime, you can actually sub to the channel for free. You just have to um, connect your Amazon to your Twitch account so you can get Twitch Prime and you can sub to the channel for free. You get free recipes, jump into the Discord. If you don't wanna use Discord, I would definitely put you on an email list and I can email you your recipes so you can try them at home. Send us some pictures, all that good stuff, right? Which is going to be fun. First cooking show, though. <laughs> yes, of course, Fallout. We shout out everybody. We spread the love for everybody. So, if you see anybody in the channel and they're getting their shout outs, try to go and follow them. Try to go see what they're about. At least peek in on them. Um, give them a follow for me. Everybody's working hard, right? Hi, missus. Thank you, True Philly Girl, for the follow. Appreciate you. All right, so we're about to get this show started. Everybody's like here, like for real. So many people. Everybody's out tonight. I appreciate you guys. All righty. So, with that being said, let's cut our music back. How about, how about our music? Play? Coming out the way. Don't worry about that music. <laughs> Start cooking, lady. Look, Nelly is always rushing me. Always rushing me. Like, I want to talk to you guys. And here comes Natalie. Rushing me. <laughs> so you guys probably hear my the dog in the background. He's, he's playing with his bone toy. Let me know if he gets too loud. I can turn my gain up. All right, so... We're definitely going to start so everybody pretty much likes collard greens right i'm sure everybody in mostly everybody in chat likes collard greens right but everybody doesn't cook collard greens the same way right because number one times have changed right and number two I have changed. So we're going to cook collard greens the way I love to cook collard greens. And you guys might be like, what's wrong with her? Why, she, why does she eat her collard greens this way? I like flavor. You can easily, yes, 
Yes, you. I'm sure you hear Chino. <laughs> Chino is the pup's name, yes. So everybody pretty much eats their collard greens a certain way. All that jazz, right? Because that's the way we're used to eating them. But guess what? I like all kind of stuff in my collard greens. I don't cook my collard greens down to a freaking pulp like we do back in the day. I actually saute collard greens, and it's really, really good. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So we're going to start with our veggies. Start with our little veggies. Get a little bowl. Cheesy greens. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yes. Cheesy greens. Nova. Nova's in YouTube. Just <laughs> <laughs> Nova's in YouTube. Nova's everywhere. She's like, I'm all over it. Easy collard greens. Yes. Yes, Philly girl. Yes. Yep, Nova's multitasking. All the time. She even noticed the pots in the back before I even Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> that's no that's Nova for you. You can't get nothing past her. So we're going to start off with a red onion and we're only going to use half of this red onion because um, we don't want it to be like oniony, onion collard greens. So we're only spicing up flavors for these collard greens, right? We're not going to be, we're not going to be like drowning them out with onion and whatever else. And no, nah, we're not doing it. I also cook, I also cook my, um, my spinach the same way but I love the collard greens because they're so bitter they have so many vitamins and they're just so good for you but they cook them down too much but I do love the old-fashioned way of cooking collard greens some turkey necks and turkey butts and and everything else in there spices garlic and, yeah those are good too it's just I floated away from that I floated into my own world when it comes to cooking so we're gonna cut this onion. We're gonna dice it up. Nice little small dice too, because we want those onions to kind of melt down in that pan. We wanna make sure that they're translucent, but we don't wanna be waiting forever with onions trying to cook them down. Because we're also gonna have garlic in there. Yes. There we go. Do a half a red onion. <laughs> How did I come up with cheesy collard greens? I, because I came up with my cheesy spinach. Cheesy spinach. And one day I just was like, well, let me um, try this on collard greens. And it was so good. It was so good, Nova. So good. So I was like, I got to put this out there. I got to put this out there for you guys to see. Because everybody's so used to collard greens a certain way, right? Nope. We're going to spice it up as always. Throwing some of the, throwing some of those flavors and all that good stuff in there. Right? So now we're going to take a pepper. This little pepper. Oh, what's up? Like the color of the seasons. Hi, Kooji. Welcome, welcome. How are you, dear? Welcome back. Welcome back. All right, so we're going to dice up these peppers. The peppers and collard greens is so good. So good. Thank you, Kooji. I appreciate that. I'm glad that you're here and that you love watching me cook. All right. So we're going to put half of this away. We don't need all of it. All right. Let's cut this little cell here. So usually we're cooking on Sundays at 6 p.m., guys. But because I didn't have a special cord yesterday, I couldn't do it yesterday, so I wound up getting it today. And we're all good today. How you doing, Kooji? How was your weekend? 
All right, let's put that in there. We got one more little quarter here. These knives are sharp. I gotta be careful. Very, very careful. So like really, really, hold on. All right, guys, you probably can hear like the TV in the background. I don't know. Feel that didn't do much? Me either. I'm telling you, yesterday I did nothing. I did nothing but hang out and play games yesterday. We are actually live yesterday. Yeah, we were. I was on early yesterday for, for some time. <laughs> Apex and Kai, yes, my favorites. So to this, we're gonna actually add tomato. Don't, don't ask, don't, 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 don't ask. <laughs> we're gonna add some tomato to these collard greens, but we're gonna add those at the end because we don't want mushy, mushy, mushy tomatoes, right? Add these right at the end. Look how clean this knife cuts. Hoy. Very nice. Thanks, Pops. So we're gonna dice these down. Watch those fingers. I'm so excited that you guys are here. Like, this is my first cooking show in Philadelphia. So I'm excited about that. For sure. Everybody's like, I can probably have an audience now. Probably have like people here to feed, right? I guess I know so many people. It's ridiculous. All right. Tomatoes at the end. Always put the tomatoes in the end. You want them nice and firm when you cook these, right? Yes, yes, yes. All right, and we got tomatoes also have some garlic I have some chopped garlic here and we also have some cheese blend so we're not using you know how we love Parmesan cheese over here are they off <laughs> yes game and relax exactly so we got some cheese right we say cheddar cheese that's what we're gonna be using yummy yummy so now I'm gonna start this. Hey, mom! Start this. Look, mom's here. Mom's here. Sis is here. Cousins here. Both sisters are here. I got everybody here, right? <laughs> so we're gonna start off with some butter. Hey, hey, mom! I'm gonna start off with some butter. Put that in the pan. About a tablespoon of butter. Yeah, I'm not using the oil. No. If you guys notice now, we're using, we're cooking back with gas. So what I want to do is brown the butter. You got to brown the butter. You got to put flavor into it. So we want to brown this butter. You don't want to burn it. You just want to brown it. A brown butter. Brown butter over there, right? Who is it? Yes. So, hey, mom, hey, sisters, hey, everybody that is here. So, we're gonna put about a tablespoon of garlic. Of course, of course. Of course, of course. We got some really, really good stuff going on here. Start off with your butter, garlic. Just a notch. I'm in the chat, not really. Hey, she's so dope. How are we? Hey, dope. How are you? I don't see her. Oh, that's why I can't see you, dope. Your name is Black. <laughs> Look, it's like, oh, I see it now. Hey, dope. How you doing? 
Yes, I did move. I moved back to Philly um, from Florida. So, whole different setup now. Everything's changed. Yes. Hey, girl. Hey. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. All right, so we're going to get this going. Sorry, I could not see your name. So now I have to look for the blank. So when you talk and you say something, I know it's so guys, remember, we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook Gaming, and Twitch now. So we're going to have to figure it out, right? Let's put our little peppers, onion, and the tummy. And we're going to get the, the collard greens going first because they need some time to cook down. So after we got that brown butter in there, we're gonna put another tablespoon of butter and melt that down, which we're not, we're not too much of brown in that. We're just gonna warm that up and give it some extra body. But we do got that brown nutty flavor taste. Yes. Hi, though. How is everyone? Guys, if you have questions, let me know. If you have questions about any of these ingredients. Because we're going to be pulling out steak and shrimp in a minute. Let's get some more of these. Yeah, perfect. All right, so we're done with onions. So we don't want to cook these down. We don't want to brown these onions. We already have the brown butter. That's going to give us that nutty flavor. So the only thing we're looking for... This is to make sure that the onions and the peppers are translucent. <laughs> so it's ready already. She ready to eat peppers. I'm ready right now. <laughs> What's up, the baby? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we out here cooking today. Uh, making up for yesterday. We actually got to make up for last Sunday too. So we're gonna be we're gonna throw another cooking show most likely in. At this week, you know, we got to get the cooking in. All right, here we go. Translucent those onions and peppers. Yummy, yummy. So at this point, you can already throw in of the collard greens. They're gonna start cooking up fast. And trust me, this does not take long. It does not take long. Not too long. Right in there. Go. Get those to start wilting. The peppers and onions are going to cook down more as this keeps going down. So don't worry too much about it. Editing some photos. Oh, you always got some photos going on. Yes, sir. Always got the good photos. Stem peas. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So, while we're ready for that, we're about to add a special, special treat. Because bacon makes everything better. So, we got some bacon. Yummy, yummy. And we're gonna cut this bacon down. Yes, Nova, bacon. <laughs> Nova loves bacon. Bacon and everything for Nova. All right, we're gonna cut this down. Just a little julienne on it. Perfect. We want lots of bacon. We don't want all the bacon, but we want we want a lot of it, not a little bit. <laughs> you love bacon, Philly? Yes. Love bacon. Gotta love bacon. So while we're waiting, I'm gonna put this bacon right in the middle. So we're gonna just render the fat off of that bacon. Yum, yum, yum. like bacon grease to give us more fat into what we're cooking here a lot of bit of bacon that a lot of bit 
A lot of it. Should cut some more and put some more in. <laughs> Can't go wrong with bacon. I'm telling you. So you can imagine that bacon flavor with all of that cheese and peppers and onions and tomatoes at the end. Yes. My kind of my kind of dish. For sure. And you don't want the bacon like you don't want to cook the bacon down to where it's like crispy because you don't want it crispy. We just want the flavor of bacon. Right? Yeah. So definitely got some bacon. I'm not cook too much of that. So on the side line of that, I have some shrimp. And we're going to peel these shrimp real quick. 1620 shrimp, tiger shrimp. Yes. True. So we're going to take these shells off. Bam, bam. All the shells off really quick. Thick shrimp, exactly. 1620. That means 1620 per pound. So if you got you 10 shrimp, you'll get 10 shrimp per pound, which is huge prawns. So that's what those numbers mean when you buy like a bag of them or go to the seafood store and they're like 1620s or, you know, you 10s. I like U10 Mexican brown shrimp. That's my favorite shrimp. Anybody must know. Anybody must know. They're very sweet. They're like the perfect cocktail shrimp. But these are just regular tiger shrimp, 1620. But these are so good. They come out really, really good. All right, while that bacon's cooking, we got the shrimp. Shrimp City. Perfect. All right. Let's check our collard greens. Oh, yummy. Look at that. Look at that. Woo wee. That's collard greens. Those are collard greens. <laughs> for sure. For sure, for sure. Some good collard greens. Like, <laughs> you want a plate? I want a plate too. I wish I can like give everybody a plate. A nice plate of shrimp or some something, right? All right, so these are looking really, really good. I'm gonna add some sea salt. And guys, y'all know I love Himalayan salt so much. But sea salt is also well. Okay. Sea salt is pretty good. But I definitely got to get my Himalayan salt. You don't want to put too much salt because the bacon has salt already. The bacon is salty, so you watch the salt. My mom asked when, when are you going to start mailing out plates? <laughs> I'm going to be working on it. I'm working on it. I'm telling you. Got some tomatoes over there. Shrimp. We have beautiful little shrimp over here. And we also have some lovely steak. Oh, steak. Who the steak? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Love steak. See how those collard greens cook down? It's not always about cooking the collard greens down to a pulp where, you know, they have no flavor. <laughs> like at that point, you're flavoring the water, right? So we're going to add a half a teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder. That's about your finger, about a pinch. A nice little pinch. Because remember, salt. Shacha! <laughs> the killer is a chef. <laughs> Just a little bit. That chicken bouillon is for 
the best flavor. That's gonna cut that bitterness out of the collard greens. How you doing, Shacha? How you doing? Yes, yes, very excited. Got some new, some new beginning. Now we got some tomatoes. Put the rest of that butter in there. Tomatoes. Yes, yes, yes. At this point, we are done. Okay, yes. So we're gonna turn that fire on, and we're gonna prepare for some steak and shrimp. <laughs> the dish I'm preparing is a bone and ribeye steak, which is pretty much a prime rib, a nice thin cut on a prime rib with bone in, a nice bone in too there. And I also got cheesy collard greens and shrimp. So we're going to do our shrimp first because we want to make sure that they are um, nice and brown. And we're going to heat up our pot in the back because we want that nice and hot for that nice and hot for our um, for our steak for sure. Alrighty. So that looks really, really good. Like, look at this. Who knew? We're gonna add cheese at the end later. <laughs> what is the dish you're preparing? Oh, okay, I already answered. Not the steakums. <laughs> steakums, yes. Steakums. Not the steakums. <laughs> Not the boo boo. It up so we can fry it out faster. All right, so our shrimp, we're gonna add a little bit of salt to the shrimp. Just a little bit, not a lot of it. And pepper. Nice cracked black pepper. A little bit more. I always do salt and pepper to taste. Never a table of salt pepper. This looks so good. Alrighty. So, then we got our pan all warmed up here. I'm gonna take some butter. Butter is good. Butter is good. Oh, cool. Got a tablespoon of butter. Now we're not browning it. I'm gonna brown anyway because of the shrimp, but we're not browning it in the beginning. Lightly melt it, and we're gonna add these shrimp in here. These pans are nice. <laughs> very, very nice, Nova. Very nice. Salt and pepper on the So I'm so I'm I'm happy to be cooking with gas again. I'm gonna let y'all know that now. I like the little our little best friend the uh, the induction burner, but I like to cook with gas. So that's definitely a plus for what we're doing. So now we're gonna add our little shrimp. Let those cook nice and lightly. To crowd it too. Now let's 
<laughs> Butter, bacon, and gas, and win it. Exactly. Exactly. And we also got our nice steaks. We can actually kind of start with food. Little shrimp. Oh, man. I'm hungry now. I'm hungry now. Salad greens. <laughs> yes. So, my favorite thing about this is the bacon. So, always good with bacon, right? Always good with bacon. Thank you for the host. Thanks, everybody, for the host tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. And usually, our brownies. You don't want them brown. You want a nice, nice pink shrimp. Brown them. Nice color on them. So for sure, for sure, this is going to be a bomb meal. So now that we got that, and we're gonna start. Start on the steak. Start on the steak. Now for this, definitely want brown butter. Definitely want some brown butter. Because it's going to brown anyway. We're cooking on hot heat. But gas, man. I'm going to put a nice, two, about two tablespoons of butter in there. That's what's going to be. All the flavor. You never ate shrimp before. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Looking at everything on high, exactly. Exactly, Nova. Everything on high. Hi, Miss Pinky. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Guys, we, we just hit. La was it last week, Nova? Last week we hit 500 followers. We celebrated. We did like a giveaway and all that stuff. We're at 531 already. That fast. That fast. That fast. Yes. Hi, Miss Pinky. How you doing? Hi. 500. Came from Mixer, right? Came from Mixer. I left Mixer. I was about a thousand followers, right? I was pretty much kind of getting my way to partnership. I feel like I kind of went away. <laughs> Left everybody in the dust. Those people. Got this lovely steak. And when I tell you, the only thing you really need on steak, the only thing you really need on steak is Italian herbs, salt, and pepper. That's it. Dry rubs are really good. But I just like an Italian herb. Because there's so many herbs in there. There's thyme, there's rosemary, there's all the good stuff. Oregano, all that good stuff in there. Miss Pinky. Salt, pepper. Right, right. Look at those shrimp. Oh, they're so good. They look so good. Now you want to make sure you salt down your meat enough. Because especially when you're cooking it under temp. Because your salt and pepper doesn't have enough time to penetrate the meat as if you were cooking it well done. So you have to make sure that you put enough salt and pepper on your meats. Steak, magic word, exactly. Steak and shrimp. Surf and turf. But look at those shrimp. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we're going to throw in some, about a half a teaspoon. Of garlic in there for some flavor and now we got our steak which is delightful brown butter again 
Yummy. Whoop, in the pan you go. These are nice ribeye bone and steak. So, it's gonna be off the wall. Oh, Cyrus, hey. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lord. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know you're not about to say what I thought you put. I think you're going to say. Whoa, whoa, sir. Whoa, whoa. What's up, Osiris? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Bam, bam, bam. Steak. One thing I tell people, let the steak cook on one side, please. At least one side. You got to brown it and let it let it do its thing. So we're going to turn these shrimp off. You know I mean? And then we're going to go back to our collard greens. Lasagna. Oh, no. We're going to have to do lasagna during the week. This is today's meal, I'm sorry. Today. I gotta go buy all that stuff. So, lasagna, I got you. For this week, we're gonna make lasagna. We're gonna make lasagna on Thursday. How about that? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Look at that. Nope, not brown enough. Not for me. Not for me. A little garlic in there for some flavor. <laughs> this mobile killing me. <laughs> okay. You gotta pee. I'm gonna act like I ain't hear you say that. <laughs> yes, so we got our steak and we got some cheesy collard greens. Osiris, so I'm, I'm just saying. Just I'm just saying it's cheesy. Greens and shrimp. I, I, I said cheesy collard greens. <laughs> collard greens my way. All right, let's flip this. Puppy. Woo. Look at that steak, y'all. Oh my god. Wow. Wowzers. Wowzers. Wowzers, wowzers. I'm gonna get ready to put the second one in because Nah is gonna eat some too. My sister, I live with my sister, so she's gonna be reaping all the benefits of all this stuff. So back to our lovely, lovely collard green. We're gonna warm those back up and we're gonna be adding cheese to them. Yes, the steak looks good. Good. Good, good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That bone. Perfect. I'm going to be taking that puppy off in a second. Yes, sir. Ooh. All right, so we want a nice medium steak, so we're gonna take this off now, right? Mm. So good. We're gonna take that off. And we're gonna let it rest because the blood inside of the steak, if you cut it now, your steak will seize up and it will be like that. <laughs> so always let your steak sit at least five minutes. At least five minutes. Hey, Osiris, thank you for the sub. Four months, man. Wow, it's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, Mufasa, hey, boo. What's up? How you doing, girl? That looks bomb as fuck. Thank you. We trying, we trying. We just cooked our first piece, so it's like, look at that. Oh, my. Yes. Got the steak. Where's my phone? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yep. Alright, I got people, like... There we go. Yeah! Oh! I can't wait. Hi, Mufasa! Hey, or hey! Like, hey, go close to your head. Yes, so... These cheesy calories, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Yes. Cheesy collard greens. Alright, so we're gonna warm these back up so when we put that cheese in them, it's gonna melt and it's gonna be good. <laughs> right, Nova? Right? Look at that, Nova. It, Nova's in two channels. I'm uh, just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Osiris, thanks again for the sub. Um, if anyone is new to the channel um, and you have Amazon, if you have Amazon Prime, you can you can link both your Amazon Prime and your Twitch account to get Twitch Prime, and you can subscribe to the channel for free. And it re-ups every month. Like you can subscribe to this channel for free. Who who doesn't want free ninety nine, right? Oh, I can't wait. You're gonna have to guess. <laughs> guess up the Hellcat. Come on over. Listen, if you're in Philly, come on over. There you go. Come on over. <laughs> yes. I agree, Osiris. I agree. Hey, there's my brother. Hey, Bo. Hey. Like, I'm here. <laughs> Osiris is crazy. So let's let that. Ooh, that's it. Yes. Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> I can't wait to eat the steak. Alright, so we're done with our little pan, our little brown butter pan. Over here. We don't want that to keep burning. Cool it down a little bit. And we're gonna go back to our cheesy grits. Cheesy grits, man. <laughs> Cause Osiris is like, I wanna know what these damn cheesy grits. What the hell are you talking about cheesy grits? Cheesy collard greens and grits and all that stuff. Yes, cheesy collard greens. So after we already sauteed these down, we're gonna heat them back up. Oh yes. Yummy, yummy. I love cooking spinach the same way. So, collard greens are delicious. They won't be bitter because we added chicken stock to it and garlic and onions and peppers, right? And tomatoes. So, the acid is going to be really nice from the tomatoes onto collard greens. Yes, yes, yes. So, we're going to start adding. Our cheese, right? I'm gonna start adding our cheese in. See this collard green. I'm gonna turn the fire pretty much off. Add that good cheese. So the key to this is to keep stirring. Stirring. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it too much. Just keep on stirring it. Keep swimming. That cheese melting already? Oh my goodness. Woohoo! So good. Oh my god. That's it. All we don't want. Collard greens. Easy collard greens. Sheesh. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Cheese, please. So we got cheese in there. We got bacon in there. We got tomatoes in there. We got red onion in there. Right? We got some orange bell peppers in there. 
garlic, salt, pepper, all the good stuff, right? All the good stuff. So now we are ready to try to plate up this food, right? Also got some yummy, yummy shrimp. Oh yes. So now we are gonna pick the nicest piece of steak here, right? We're gonna cut it down. Oh yes. Don't be afraid. Come and eat a medium steak. <laughs> oh, like I'm back. So we're gonna cut off this bone presentation purposes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Who doesn't like steak? This is ribeye steak too, so. I remember I used to cook these huge ribeye steaks. They were like this freaking big, like huge with fat cap on them. And we used to put them in the oven. Oh my God, when they came out. I love it. Mm. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So now that we got our lovely. I did not come to play with lucky, you. Lucky, uh, steak. Uh oh. Who did I it? I came to play, bitch. <laughs> I like one bread and dollar green, bitch. Who did it? Oh, yes. You got to believe me. Somebody got the band hammer. Who did it? <laughs> I'm sure it was a troll. So, we're going to move this. Get our little plate out. Get and cut our steak. Want a nice little bias. Got a plate up. Got a plate up. It was a bite. Of course it was a bite. So. Oh, yes. Woohoo! Mm hmm. Uh huh. Cheesy collard greens. Oh my God. Look at the cheese. Oh my, oh my Lord. Mm-hmm. Right on top of there. See, one thing about me, it ain't always gotta be pretty. Rustic is good too, because guess what? It's beautiful. <laughs> it's gonna go down the same way. Oh my God. He has a nice plate, right? This is a bamboo plate. I actually bought this plate, um, when I did my first cooking stream for stir fry. Yeah, but it's, it's such a, a nice plate. Hey, mama bear. What's up? How are you? Welcome, welcome. She said, I'm mad. Tell me why you're mad, son. She said, I'm mad. I know, I want steak too. <laughs> I know, right, Momo? Listen. When you come here, you're gonna get hungry. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just throwing it out there. Let's get these good shrimp. Shrimp out here. Mm. Man, listen. Ain't nobody got time playing with y'all. <laughs> with these cheesy collard greens and that my friends is it surf and turf yes exactly surf and turf my way you gotta have some chicken you gotta have some beef right you gotta have some some good seafood veggies all that good stuff but these are my collard greens they're so good I like eat them right out the pan <laughs> but we're gonna taste it after we take a little picture, it's a hood surf and turf. <laughs> not, not, <laughs> not hood surf and turf. <laughs> that don't make no sense to be good. Oh yeah. Yes, so I wanna be um, posting these pictures in the Discord, of course. Sure, we got camera clean cut it looks so good I, i'm telling you guys you gotta just 
<sighs> so nice. So nice. <laughs> collard greens and cheese. Yes, these are cheesy collard greens. You know how you have like cheesy grits? Cheesy collard greens. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Look at that. Sheesh. So when I own a restaurant, <laughs> I'm on my way to Philly because I have to get my lady. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> Right, come on, just come on, come on. Do this a couple times a week, right? So that's that's your cheesy collard greens. That's cheesy collard greens, a ribeye steak, bone in, shrimp. Yes, yes. So I was saying earlier, right? Now that I'm back in Philly, Philly has a lot more to offer when it comes to um, food, when it comes to ingredients. Um, Florida was pretty much like, it was kind of scarce. I, I wouldn't even say kind of, it was really, really scarce. It was hard for me to find anything. Um, a lot of the ingredients I had to like order out and have them delivered to my house. So with that being said, I'm back here in Philly and it's, it, it's lovely. It's lovely. lovely. All the ingredients. I can go to the Reading Terminal Market, Farmer's Market. Look at these collard greens. Collard greens. Mm. You guys don't know what you're missing. <laughs> They're like, I'm about to get in my car. The steak. Now, tell me. Tell me. Hey. Hey, Kate. <laughs> Thank you for the resub to the channel. Appreciate you. Yes, it looks good, right? So you can go ahead and you can tell everybody. That you saw the cheesy collard greens here first. Yeah. <laughs> this is a well kept secret of mine. Oh yeah. So good. It doesn't. You know how collard greens have that bitter taste? Forget about it. These are so good. The acid from the tomatoes. Give it that. The extra background flavor that kind of hits you in the back of the neck that you need. Yes. To so cut the bitter. Yes. I'm in Philly, Kate. I'm in Philly. I moved back to Philly. Yes, ma'am. Are you in Philly? Uh-oh. Are you? <laughs> Two hours near Scranton. Uh-oh. Kate's coming over. <laughs> Yes, yes, Moses, yes. Look at this. It's like dripping with cheese. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The casino before COVID. Oh, okay, so you probably were at um Sugar House. When it was the Sugar House. So thing about Sugar House is I was there. Oh, at Parks. Okay, that's in um, Ben Salem. Yeah. I actually drove past there yesterday. Mm hmm So in the, in the sugar house, well, when it was the sugar house, I was the banquet chef there. So I did all the banquets and all the good stuff. I'm telling you. This is, if I had a restaurant, this would definitely be on. At Hugo's. Actually, I was a chef at Hugo's. <laughs> yes. Mm hmm They had Hugo's Steakhouse, right? Mm-hmm. It was amazing. It was amazing. They had Hugo's. What was Hugo's Frog Bar and Chop House. And I helped open that restaurant there. I had to go to Chicago. I do need a restaurant for sure. I went to Chicago and trained for a whole month. I was like in Chicago in a hotel room for a whole month training in their main store. It's called Gibson's in Chicago, which they also own Quarantino. They own the polos, uh, the polo bar. You go into this polo bar and 
everybody is dressed like all of the staff is dressed in head to toe with original polo. It's amazing. I had some escargot when I was there. First time I tasted escargot, it was, man. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go cook for my cousins now. <laughs> Thank you, Moja. I appreciate y'all. I know I'm like sitting here eating, but yes. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of escargot either, but when I tasted it, I was like, it's not bad. I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat that on a regular basis, but I would try it again if it was from the, the polo bar. <laughs> Gotta come up there and cook for you, Bo? Yes. Yes, you're like four hours away, brother. Look at this. Guys, I've never eaten this much on, like, live. It's so good. Oh, my God, it's so good. I can't. I can't stop eating it. Now, you guys know, we usually do, like, we usually do, like, an appetizer and dessert. But because this was such a hearty meal, and it was just, like, I have to just do this and focus on it. Yes, it's good. <laughs> it's really good. It's really, really good. So, maybe, maybe one of these weeks, we'll invite the Philadelphia, our Philadelphia family over to come and eat some food. They are not far, trust me. If they can make it over here now, I'm sure they would. But yes, this is our first cooking show. In Philadelphia, staying here. So I'll bring the drinks. Yes. <laughs> oh, she's still not sharing. Sorry, Nat. <laughs> mm hmm. So, yes, yes, yes. Thank you guys for coming out. I appreciate all the love that you guys show to the channel. I come a long way. I mean, if you. If you really know my story, I've come a long way. I did nothing but cook all my life. All my life. Like, I've been in the kitchen cooking. First job, never left. Full and sipping sounds like a party. <laughs> yes. So we're going to have some, some really exciting things coming to the stream for you guys. Um, I have a friend... I, I explained this earlier, but I know everybody's coming in. I have a friend, and he wants to challenge me in cooking. So, of course I said, okay, challenge accepted. So we're going to be bringing that content to you guys soon. Soon, soon. So watch out for, like, Discord and Instagram, and you'll see... Um, when will we be doing that kind of thing? And then I'm sure the rest of my friends are going to follow along. Come on, challenge me. Bring it on. <laughs> I'm like eating this whole freaking plate. It's so good. So does anybody have questions? If you are a sub to the channel... You can check out the Discord. Uh, Nova, if you want to put up the socials for me, you can check out the Discord, and there will be there will be recipes for subs. So the recipe, if you want this recipe for this collard greens, you have to be a sub to the channel, but you can pick it up in Discord if you're a sub. Connect your Twitch to Discord, and you'll automatically open up that feature. Um, for subs and you can use it all you want I recommend besides this using the crab cake recipe with the cheesy collard greens recipe yeah <laughs> that's bomb that's gonna be really really good 
So I'm excited to be back here. I'm excited that we're live again with cooking shows. Of course, I, I play games. I play Apex and um, mainly Call of Duty when it comes to, so, to uh, shooters. But I also play a lot of um, different... I play a lot of... Osiris. We'll play tonight. Oh. <laughs> So I play Apex. I play um, primarily those two games only for shooters. Put my play in Tupperware. <laughs> Let me find out you're going to get in the Hellcat and come on. Come on, grab you a plate. Grab a plate. It'll be here. <laughs> yes. I've eaten all of the freaking collard greens. I love veggies, y'all. I love veggies. I love veggies. I play a lot of um, survival games, Seven Days to Die, horror games, Phasmophobia, all those fun games. So throughout the week, it's not just cooking for me. I'm actually cooking and a gamer. I play with a lot of my, um, a lot of my friends. Yeah. So definitely, definitely check me out during the week, which most likely it's going to be in the evenings. Um, trying to get a schedule together because now I'm, I'm kind of more free now with my time so I can actually make a schedule. So we'll do that this week. Clapping cheeks in those games. <laughs> especially, especially Call of Duty. I love that. That's, that's my favorite shooter. Next is Apex. I love Apex. What, Osiris? <laughs> Yes, we gotta play Seven Days to, got, to Die again. So if anybody plays that game, we actually have a server for the community um, that you guys can, um, uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. Chef J, what up? <laughs> Hi, Hershey. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Yes, I just received. Oh, there's Al. Hey, Al. Al lives right around the corner. We got to get you over here for next week. Well, Thursday I'll be cooking again, so we got to get you over here to come and hang out, you know? Oh, you bought the game? Yeah. So in Discord, I'll, um, I'll shoot you a message in Discord for it. Hey, Hershey. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Welcome, girl. Yes. So now I see my friends are playing a game called Rust. And I want to play. <laughs> yes. I'm sure you are, Dale. Come on, eat, eat some food. This Thursday, Osiris wants to see me make lasagna. Cool bean. We'll make some lasagna. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll make some lasagna. You might be on tonight, yeah. Um, I'm actually off tonight. So I'll be figuring out something. Play. I, I do want to play Seven Days Die. I love Seven Days Die. Over anything. Yes. Oh, you have Rust. Okay, so I have um he's a streamer, his name is Platypus Morte. Um, let's see if I can, he, he plays a lot and I mean a lot of survival games, a lot. Let's see. Yes, I'm just received. This is how I'll be the cheerleader with my lactose intolerant vegan ass. <laughs> You're vegan? I did not know. That's why, yeah, when I met you, you did have salad without meat. Now that I think about it. Thank you, Hershey. Thank you, thank you. And remember, guys, you can always go back and look at these, um, look at the vibes. So if you have a, um, a recipe that's in the Discord, you can always go back and look at it, or you can always DM me. I'm always open. I'm always live. I'm always... I'm around. I'm around. 
What I'm making next? Well, I have a request for lasagna. <laughs> so we're gonna make some lasagna on Thursday. Yes, what's today, Tuesday? Thursday, Thursday's good, Thursday's good. So we're gonna try to put into two weeks, two, two days a week for cooking shows, right? Yes, I'm sorry, I got you. <laughs> yes, um, I usually cook on Sundays at 6 p.m. It's every Sunday, no matter what, guys. Even if we don't cook during the week, Sunday is always a cooking show at 6 p.m. Always. So now you can catch it on Facebook Gaming, catch it on YouTube and Twitch. We're streaming live to all of them. So yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, lasagna is really good. Really, really good. So I'm gonna whip out a special recipe for lasagna. A special, special one. Because you know I like to do things my way, like these collard greens. So Hershey, we have like cheesy collard greens. Bomb.com. So we're gonna cook some lasagna for Osiris. Osiris has been a long time supporter of the channel, all the way back to like forever <laughs> so we can we're gonna do that for you we're gonna do that for you osiris so thursday 6 p.m sharp we're gonna be doing lasagna again if you guys have any suggestions any suggestions any please use the discord use instagram use anything that you can get me the word to what you would like to see on the the show so i'm going back to I'm going back to Chef Jay. I know you, don't I? <laughs> no, no, you're not old. Because there's nothing wrong with a good old traditional lasagna. It's the best. It's, that definitely is the best. But I always got to throw some twist on it. Always. Always got to do something. Yes, I knew it. <laughs> Hi, love. How are you? So speaking of that, speaking of challenging people, Chef J is actually, Chef, I'm going to be challenging. So, this is the rock squad over here, okay? I was looking at Facebook and everybody's like rooting on him and I'm like, okay, well, this is my house. <laughs> I can't wait. So, guys, definitely look out for that content. Maybe we'll have you come over here, Chef J. Yes, yes. Ready for the twist? Exactly. We always got to put a twist on something. This is a lot of steak for me, guys, but definitely got some, some good pictures of it. I'm posting in Discord. Yes. So, we're going to get you over. We're going to get you. Sorry, guys. I, doggy, doggy. We're gonna get you over here. Pets, y'all, pets. Hold on. Pets, y'all, pets. We got to cater to the pets, too, you know? Yes. So, definitely go back and look at the vibes. I'm going to start chopping up vibes and keeping them, um, kind of chopping them down so you guys can go back and look at it. Um, yeah. It is a good dog. It's a pit bull. It's a pit bull mixed with the King Corsa. He's big. He's big. He barks at everybody. Right, Osiris? Right. Yeah. Osiris loves dogs. So, excuse my dogs, guy. Excuse the dogs. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know, Osiris. And Osiris is the cutest. Big goofy dog. <laughs> Natalie says that every time. Chino. His name is Chino, Natalie. <laughs> name is Chino, Osiris. Chino. 
He's a big dog. He's 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 a beautiful dog though. He likes to bark at everybody that kind of walks. Yeah. So back to you, Chef J. We're gonna get you over here, and we're gonna throw down in this 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 nice little setup here. We're gonna throw down, and we're gonna get it out there, and we're gonna plant it, and we're gonna have fun, and I'm gonna take you down. <laughs> You want one? A dog? Not that dog. Come take this dog. <laughs> German Shepherd mix with a bull mastiff. Oh man. I love German Shepherds. I had a German Shepherd when I was younger. They're really smart dogs. Really smart dogs. <laughs> So yes, guys, thank you so much for coming out and enjoying the show. So cheesy collard greens, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's something to die for. I'm telling you. Really, really good. Really, really good. I enjoyed everyone's company today. Thank you for the subs and the resubs and the idea Osiris. He wants lasagna. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Now that I'll put some Tupperware, but you gotta come get it. <laughs> Thank you, Chef J. I appreciate it. Yes. Oh, now it's still here. Chino's barking. <laughs> He's talking too. He wants to be on camera. Um, so yes, thank you guys so much. You never had cheesy collards? Oh man. I'm gonna be posting them in the Discord. Um, I posted that everybody's everybody's Discord is like you got a food channel i'm in it most likely so you'll see it somewhere in somebody's discord if not ours right yes you're coming over for lasagna yes company that's what nova loves she left some company um yes love company so in philadelphia and you want to come and try to enjoy the show some food. The belly. Some food in the belly. So we're gonna take our community over to a special person, right? A special special of peoples that is pretty much more likely part of the community and part of um I try to stick with the I try to stick with the food, but to be honest guys, I've been watching the food. I'll take you guys. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to go to, and when we go over, guys, the same love that you show here, please go and bang on the follow button. What kind of cheese did I use? Uh, mozzarella, cheddar, and sharp cheddar. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We are... Go to, I'm always looking at this phone, right? Try to see where we're going. You wanna go somewhere. Games we play. Games we play. Games we play. <laughs> but thank you everybody for coming out. All the subs, the gift subs. And once again, if you have Amazon Prime, connect it to your Twitch because you can subscribe to this channel for free 99. You know, what's better than a free 99? So try to get in there because if you want recipes for the cheesy greens and the steak and the shrimp and everything, Discord, get your sub in and you can have these recipes to use at your disposal whenever you want. Thank you, Nova. Whatever you want. So this was a really, really good meal. I'm full. I'm, I'm just going to let y'all know that now. I'm full. Full, full, full. Full, full, full. Let's go over to Jenny Does It. So Jenny and the crew, she loves Apex. Oh, she loves Apex. She plays Apex. She actually has Apex tournaments every month or two or something like that, right? And I love watching the tournaments because... People win. They win giveaways, and you can go and watch those um, those tournaments. Maybe one day I'll join the tournament if I'm good enough. Right, Osiris? 
<laughs> Maybe one day I'll jump into a tournament with them. So definitely go over Follow Jenny Does It. And if you guys can please do me a favor, once we get in there, make sure we spam the emotes. Spam a emote, any emote, the channel emotes, anybody's emotes. Just spam them to death. Give them a follow, give them a host, and say hi, bye, whatever you want to say. But show them some love because that's what we do here. And I'm going to see you guys later. Yes, it's still up north. And I'm going to see you guys later. So Nova, if you could take us over to Jenny Does It, that would be awesome. Thank you so much, Nova. Thank you so much, Natalie. They're mods in the channel. Um, they help me out a lot um, when it comes to chats and everything. So I will see you guys later. And I'm going to be in the screen. So rewatch if you want. YouTube, Instagram. That's where we're, we're everywhere. <laughs> we're trying to be everywhere. Twitter. So definitely follow. Bye, Elle. Caribbean boy. Chef J. Mom, sis, bro. Cousins. Everybody, Osiris. Bye, Hershey. See everybody later. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> oh, come on.